COVID-19 cases continue to soar. A new tool in the fight, Pfizer's antiviral pill Paxlovid, the FDA granting an emergency use authorization last month. Dr. Larry Sima says the timing of its approval is critical. But the timing is certainly beneficial with what we're seeing. Paxlovid was 89% effective at preventing hospitalization and death in a study of more than 2,000 high-risk adults. A positive sign, but Sima says it's not the end-all, be-all. And the goal of the pill is to, again, it's not to cure the COVID or to, um, to prevent any, anything else. It's simply to keep you out of the hospital and to prevent you from developing severe disease. In the U.S., an average of 672 children being hospitalized since January 2nd, more than double the average just a week prior. Cases also rising. More than 325,000 new cases amongst kids the week of Christmas, a 64% increase from the previous week, and nearly double the cases just two weeks prior, according to a report from the American Academy of Pediatrics. When the previous variants were ravaging the country, schools were shut down, so kids weren't congregating. Last year, the holiday season didn't involve nearly as many family gatherings as this one did, and mask mandates were in place across the entire country. The surge in cases, leaving school districts in a bind on how to go about the spring semester and forcing parents to make critical decisions about their children's health. The booster shots are going to protect more kids from getting COVID. This will also then in turn protect their families from potentially being exposed to COVID inadvertently through contacts of their kids. Kenny Dar, News 15.